What's up guys? So we're here in the garage and I finally got this, I got, not finally, I got a video for you guys that I'm actually excited to do. It's been something that I've been putting on for a really long time. Kenny knows about that. Every time we go to the track, we battle this issue, right? Trans is giving me issues. Third gear, something's going on with third. Now I can feel fourth gear is definitely giving me more issues. It doesn't want to, it comes out of gear, but it, it's hard to come out of gear, right? So. I bought a Synchrotech Master Rebuild Kit and we're going to be tearing the whole trans apart. I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step on how we're going to replace all the synchros, replace all the bearings, the, uh, see, huh? Oh, Carter just showed up, so Carter's rolling up here. Uh, the seals, the synchros, the bearings, and uh, Carter is just screaming out there. Let's go see what Carter's doing. <laughs> Pull over me hanging on the side of the road. <laughs> I saw it. I was a witness. Oh, oh. Abby! Oh, you got left my keys. And the beer. Damn it. Abby! Oh, oh I thought she made a YouTube. Why you do that? Yo? <laughs> <laughs> so we got the trans right here. We're going to be disassembling it here. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to split the case. We're going to put all the gears right here and then we're going to be using this as our workbench to start assembling it so here's what you get with the master rebuild kit you get obviously your synchros you get your snap rings you got some seals you got the main the snap ring on the top of the trans another bearing i forgot you got hardened sleeves too so that's another thing i'm replacing all the sleeves in the trans i think that's my issue on my third fourth gear and just more bearings so it's gonna completely refresh the whole trans the only thing is the oil Gut, the uh, oil gutter, I think that's what they call it. But it's I've replaced it before. So that's that's still fresh in there. So first thing we're gonna do, start tearing this trans apart, is we're gonna take our shift selector out. So when you're gonna take the shift selector first, you're gonna take this Allen key right here. Pull this guy out first, then you're gonna take off the, their tens, but I have a, a down star kit. Take these four out and this will come out. Once we got our shift selector out, we're gonna take the three detent springs right here. So they have little springs in them and little balls. So when you take these out, just careful when the ball comes out. If you have to, just tilt the trans to get the ball out. So once you get it out, you'll have the spring. There's no ball in there. So all we're gonna do, is we're gonna tilt the trans a little bit. got the balls that popped out if you have like a small magnet you can just stick the magnet in there but those are your detent balls this is basically what keeps your car in gear and you upgraded those yeah those are the speed factory ones so after you got your detent springs out now we're going to take the yeah the shifter bracket off so these again these i think are like tens but since we have the downstart kit they're whatever that size is once we take this off, oh, that's the six. then we're going to go all around the case and take all these 12s off. And then we have to take this big plug off right up here. On the underside of the transmission, we also have to take this off. This looks like a 14. This is for your reverse idler. So take this off and then we'll go around all the other ones. And then we'll move you up here so you can see how we split. We'll move you up here so we can see how we split this snap ring off and then we'll pop the case. So we're gonna split this guy like this and when you split this then you get the pry bars where's the other car i'm gonna need your hand because we're gonna have to split this as we hold this open so what we'll do is i'll go right here we're gonna break the rtv too There, you gotta split the diff off the bearing. Or the bearing, there you go. Okay. 
support again. bearing came off as you guys can see the the count what was that oh, I thought that was a snap ring I said well there's our problem <laughs> as you can see the bearing came off of here it's stuck in inside here that's not a big deal all we could do is just bang this case down and we'll pop the bearing out but for now we'll keep this to the side and let's inspect honestly what went wrong here uh I think I see it oh no that's good What we're gonna have to do is we'll, we'll pull our gear sets out. Before you pull the gear sets out, you wanna take your reverse idler out. So it's this guy right here. Take these two tens, take this bracket out, and then you can pull the pin out and the reverse, and then we'll pull the whole gear set out. And we'll lay that down. set with the forks and just pull it all off as one unit. So now we got our main shaft and our counter shaft out. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to pull our diff out. So this you could just pull straight out. This is a M factory LSD that I'm running. Are we in bearings? <laughs> So we're just gonna put this to the side right now. Let's start taking our bearings out. This one, we're gonna pull this one right out. This one, you're gonna take these two tents. So actually I could take those out right now. Okay. So we're gonna keep this to the side. For this one, I have a puller, but it's not gonna get under there just because of this little plate. You can't, I can't get it right. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna break this bearing off, break these rollers, and then I'll be able to pull this off. And this one, I'll pull it off the right way. You'll see it when I use the tool. Pre uh, just put the new ones in, and then we're gonna throw the main shaft in and start rebuilding the synchros. So once you pull the main shaft bearing out, there's gonna be a seal under here. Again, this comes in your kit. Can you hold that up to the camera? What's that part number? There's the part number for uh, that one. So we're gonna pull this guy out. Made in Vietnam. Hey, shout to them, you know. Damn. Yeah, Never seen that before. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can say I can use this on fast bar from my hand. Well, because I can't get under the bearing. Trust me, the way Carter came up with this actually, that was actually a great idea. Carter, put that garbage here so I'm not going around. Perfect. Because you saw, like, in order to pull the bearing, something wrong. Something not right. <laughs> this never happens, by the way. I just want to say, I don't know how I got it to pull out like this, but it pulled out. Oh, 
All right, so these bearings went in very, very easy. As you guys saw, sometimes they're a little, they're a little harder than that, but we got lucky, these went in nice. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna grab my main shaft. And one thing you should know when you take the main shaft out is you got washers. Here, Kenny, where's that camera? Let's get the camera right here. There's two washers right under the main shaft. Do not lose these, keep them the way they are, keep them on the main shaft. So what a lot of people always do, and it's it's a great idea, is you just put the main shaft right back in where it goes, and that's your stand. So the main shaft just pulls apart very easily. All we're gonna do is start taking it apart one by one and replacing everything. Uh, so we're gonna make some space. Off camera, one thing we were talking about, we're trying to see where the failure is on this, and we already found it. So here's your third, third and fourth hub. Actually, I'm gonna put the counter shaft in and I'm gonna show you guys your, uh, where the gears are, so. Both of our counter shaft and main shaft in, we're gonna just go through the gears. So first gear is always starting at the bottom. So this big one right here, this is your first gear that we move up. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and your top one is sixth. This one right here, which is a straight cut gear, this is your reverse gear, so we're not gonna, we're gonna change the cuff, but we're not really worried about that, so. Like I said, this is your third and fourth gear sleeve because third and fourth gear are right here. So with first gear, there's never really any issues. As you can see, it's kind of, it's engaged in the way it needs to. So now when I go to engage fourth, it's, it's a little hard. Now this is the problem. Like I said, I had issues coming out of fourth. So it's just having such a hard time coming out of fourth. There's my issue. I believe without us really taking it apart and looking, this sleeve is, is the issue. So it's in third right now. Comes out of third fine. So third gear is fine. It just going into fourth is a struggle and coming out. It just, look, you can see I have to, I have to like walk it out and I feel that in my shifter. So that's our issue, fifth and sixth. There's no issue there. So that's basically the issue. Um, we were looking at the synchros. The synchros are worn as well. So like I said, that, that's basically a walkthrough of how we kind of diagnose what's going on with this. So now we're gonna start taking this apart. We're gonna take these out. Get, these always have to come out as two, two pieces. So we're gonna take these out, put the main shaft back in. We're gonna start taking it apart one by one. The way we're gonna go about this is every time we take something off, we're gonna turn it upside down and lay it and stack it the opposite way so we can, you know, stay organized. So the main shaft just pulls apart very easily. So we're just gonna pull this off. So here's our sixth gear. And um, one thing I wanna talk about is you see these pegs in the gear? That's where our synchro lines in. So if I pull our synchro out, so here's the whole synchro. So you can see the pegs on the synchro. So those pegs, when you put it together, they're only gonna go in one way. So that's how they click in. So that, that's the way you know it's going. It, it, it's only gonna go back together one way. So here's our gear and our synchro is coming apart. Okay, here's a needle bearing, the collar. Here's our sleeve. So this is fifth and sixth, which it looks fine. Everything looks all right with these. Okay, here's our problem. This is the one I want to see. Oh, 
shit. There's the problem. It goes in one way, but it doesn't want to come out the other way. So as you guys can see, like I said, they're third and fourth. It's just, it's shot. So what are we going to find? If I can get it out. So after hammering the hub out of this sleeve, we got it apart and I hope the camera can pick it up um, how bad the inside of this sleeve is. It, it's just so much burrs. Turn it upside down. You can see it better. This way? Oh, like this? Yeah, you can just see all these burrs, which is why everything was just jamming up. So this is our problem, 100%. This is why third and fourth. This is why I keep missing third. So we're just gonna keep going on. Like I said, we have new sleeves. It comes with our rebuild kit, but we're just taking it apart and putting everything back together. Thank God. <laughs> you can feel the groove on the bottom one. You want to be banging four for the time. <laughs> That's your favorite gear to mess up on. Okay, so we got the bare main shaft. So uh, looks good. Nothing really wrong with it. Our first and second on the main shaft are fine. Actually in really good shape. So now we're gonna start putting everything back together the opposite way. Does your kit come with all the needle bearings too or no? No, no, we're reusing the needle bearings. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put third gear down. Put our needle bearing. Now we're gonna start opening up our new sink ropes. So we're gonna start rebuilding. We have our third gear down. We kind of shifted around a little bit. So when you get this Synchrotech kit, gears, uh, synchros three to six, uh, they're all the same size. So three to six is on our main shaft. One and two is on the counter shaft. Those are a little bigger. So the counter shaft we're gonna do a little later. First, we're gonna do this. So now we have our gear in. If we follow, you know, the way we were doing this, we're gonna grab our synchro. Our synchro would go down. So we're gonna grab a new synchro and the snap ring that needs to go around the synchro. So here's the synchro. Uh, the snap ring, so we have to open that up. Now, these are carbon lines, so if you were to take this apart, there's the carbon lining right in here. If I, uh, yeah, I could get this open for you guys. Right there, there's your carbon lining. So the synchros, they only go together one way. So if we were to take this apart, you have the carbon lining. This is gonna go inside of this one right here. And now we have these openings right here. They're gonna go into the openings on this one right here. So everything should just slip in together as you can see like that and now because we have well all right so we'll put our snap ring on our snap ring just goes on the outside just like that and because we have our little pointers right here facing down this is going to go down just like that and we're going to move it around no oil i'll put it on the main shaft at the end we're going to line guys up okay so that's lined up so next would be our screwed up sleeve which third and fourth I don't know if you guys can look in here right where my finger is it's not broken off it's missing for a reason so that way when you put the sleeve it doesn't catch all the way down it's actually gonna go down and stop onto our hub which is right here so if you look at the hub see how it has right there so when the sleeve goes down it'll actually stop right here so it doesn't go down all the way so we're gonna get our third and fourth one first we'll put this guy on the, the orientation i've been using trans fluid for all of this so make sure when you put it on it goes with the stopper facing down What is it doing now? Vacuuming? Okay. Then we got our new sleeve. Again, from Synchrotech. These are the hardened ones. And the final orientation. So this 
this is going to be pointing up so when we go it goes down and it stops so we're going to so again. okay that guy there is right here there we go it's nice oh so much better so now we're going to start doing our fourth gear So the fourth year of the synchro. And is that gap you floating on here? Right. So now the synchro would go. So we'll get our new synchro. Got a snap ring on it? No. <laughs> oh, I think you gave me a one and two snap ring. So here, here's a perfect example. So this would be for one and two. And you can see how much bigger it is. It doesn't even fit on ours. So this will go on first and second. Okay, so now here's a three to six, and it fits on our synchro nice. So we're gonna put this one with the, I'm gonna call them nipples, facing up. And these are gonna line up right in here. You can see this opening. So that'll fall right in there. Oh, it's already better because it's falling right out of it. Okay, and now we're gonna get a fourth here. Fourth gear is going to go with the dots facing down to line up with our synchro. So it would be that. Okay. Put our needle bearing. And then our collar. I should probably. Kenny, can you shift that camera the other way? There you go. Okay. So our collar is on now. So now. Third, fourth, third, fourth. So much better. That's the way it should be. Okay. Next one. This is going to be our fifth year. So it, the fifth yeah, year it came up. With oil. This. Yeah, we'll put it in the gears. We're going to loop this here. And then do that one? Yeah. Okay. So now our fifth gear. Nope, that wasn't right. That's not right. Needle bearing. And then the fifth gear. Okay. So now we need a synchro right there. There good. Good. Okay, line this guy up. Then I'm going to get a new 5th and 6th collar. Get our hub. Now this hub, you can just put it on in any, or well, not any orientation, any way upside down, but it's only gonna go on one way, so you gotta kinda find where it lines up. There you go. Okay. Actually, this is gonna line up. You gotta line it up with your synchro right in there. So again, we gotta line that synchro up right in here. Then we could put our collar on. Okay. Then we're going to grab another synchro. These are going to be facing up. Line these right up in there. Then we got another collar. I don't know how you remember this. Like that. Needle bearing. So we're gonna go up. Oil. Oil. Thank you. There you go. Gotta get some more oil going on in there. 
I'll never have too much. Hmm. There it go. There it goes. Okay. So that's good. Three four is good. Then our bearing, but we have a new bearing, so this guy the way I double check bearings is just go by the part number on your bearing and compare it to the new one so this looks like a SFO SFO 6 a 6 9 6 9 yep so it's this one okay put some more trans fluid on it The main shaft's done. Let's we'll play with that one for a little bit because we just got to enjoy that right there. This, oh, this one? This one. <laughs> yeah, this is, that's going to be butter smooth shifts now. So there's our main shaft. Now we're going to clean up and we're going to go to our counter shaft. So you guys saw, we got the main shaft put together. Now I got the counter shaft right here. As you guys can see it, it's right here. This is going to be a little different. So the counter shaft, Actually, we have to take a, a nut, a bolt off at the top of it. So this bolt right here, we need to take off the counter shaft. It's a regular thread, so we're going to loosen it up. You need an air gun or a really strong impact tool. I have a very small compressor here. I'm hoping this is going to be enough to take this off. Otherwise, we're going to have mean, to figure builds, something out. It builds up to 100. I think it's like 90. I, th I think it went up to 100. Oh, well, hopefully it's enough to practice. So once we loosen this off, we can take the bearing off. We're actually not going to do this here because the counter shaft is all pressed in. Sometimes people get lucky; they can try to pull them. They'll use like uh, jaw, you know, three jaw pullers or whatever. Ooh. <laughs> we did that with Carter's, but Kenny has a press in his garage, so we're going to uh, loosen this up here because we have the air compressor here. Then we're going to take a quick trip to Kenny's house and. Uh, We'll show you guys how we press these off. And the reason we have to press these off, like I said, first and second synchros are down here and our uh, sleeve is down here. So we have to take all these off to replace these down here and then press them all back on. So let's go to Kenny's garage. All right, so we made it here to Kenny's garage. So now the counter shaft is not gonna fit in the press the way it sits right now because of, uh, I'll, I'll show you. So the way the counter shaft is, because of these gears, they're a lot fatter. I can't get it to come up on the counter shaft all the way to reach to press it. So what we're doing is we're using a three jaw puller with just uh, a bolt in the middle and we're gonna split these gears off right here. And uh, if we have to, we may have to split these. I'm not sure yet. Uh, what I might have to do is turn the counter shaft upside down and press it the other way to get it. But for right now, we're gonna pull these two off. Uh, it's going through the bolt and everything. Okay. You see anything moving? Not yet. There you go. Keep your hand under there. Can't hang out. I can't even grab it. <coughs> Do you feel it moving down? Yeah.
Where's that uh, bolt and washer? Drop though, be careful. Like once we start passing them. Ah, maxed out. That gear smooth. Mm -hmm. Get my touch motor. All right, hang on. Come up so I can start taking gears off. There you go, counter shafts out. So now what we're gonna do is, is uh, take these gears off. Same thing we did with the main shaft, flip them upside down so we know the orientation till we get down to the first and second synchro and the hub, sleeve, not the hub, the sleeve. Synchro. So this is gotta go facing down. Okay, so we're gonna go with our first synchro. Are you just drinking my <laughs> our little tabs? We're gonna line up with the three indents right here. So Carver, can you get that? Did you see that? I see it all. No, okay. I don't see shit. These three indents right here. We're gonna line up our tabs on our synchro. Make sure our synchro is all put together. Okay. 
synchro. Another synchro. That was a little thing there, though, right? Do you need that? All right. Oh, shit. Okay. You put them. So this little spacer here. Oh, got it goes inside this. No, it goes right here. Lined up in there. Yeah, but it sits in here. Yeah, yeah but I got to look. First, you're going to get these, these three little notches on this spacer. You're going to line them up right in here. Oh, they have notches? Yeah. That's going to go in like that. That's just a spacer right there. So then we're going to put our synchro over it. Make sure we line that up inside there. Let me get this sleeve. Put the needle bearing. Okay, and then we line up the synchro again with these three notches. Okay, that's lined up. And then basically we just follow the orientation again, but what we're gonna do put the shaft in first. Put this on the yeah, put this right on the main shaft and press this whole thing on. All right, so we uh, we got everything assembled. All we had to do was use two hand or two guys just to flip this over, hold the gears while we pressed it all together. So it was the opposite of what we did. All we did was change the sleeve first and second. So as you can see now, it's this is going. Oops, there we go. Now I got my hand on it. First and second weren't giving me an issue, but we have it. We're doing it, and we put a new bearing on top. So this is all smooth. Now we're gonna go back to my garage, tighten up the top nut. Don't, don't, you know, I'm sweating so bad. Don't put that camera on me. <laughs> Tighten this up and we're gonna assemble the trans back. We're back at the garage. We have everything assembled. We tightened up this bolt. This bolt is actually a reverse thread. So I was wrong saying that that tightens up or loosens up the regular way. That's a reverse thread. So these are, the gears are matched up. We got the forks ready to go. First thing we have to do is drop the, um, the differential back in. That literally just falls right back in once you line the bearings up. Sometimes you gotta just spin it. That's good. Now, the forks are always the challenge. We just kind of spent some time trying to uh, get them to align properly and looks like they kind of messed up again. So the way I did it is I just put them in to make sure I get them going right. So this, you can line it up with this ball right here because when it goes in reverse, this arm actually comes up and hits this and puts it in reverse. So we'll get that one going, then the second one falls right in, right here. And what you wanna do is you wanna get all these aligned right over here. So all of these have to align up. So we'll get the third one. We'll line him up with the rest of them. So once all these are aligned up, so they're pretty much set where they need to be. So now we're gonna put them right back the way they are to the gear sets and you might have to move them around a little bit but as long as they're pretty much oriented where they need to be you can wrestle them around Try this. Okay. welcome back guys trying this for the first time gears in now we can kind of go back in a reverse order with our reverse idler One thing you want to know is this bolt, this hole, you want to line it up with this bolt right here. One more time. I said this hole right here, it's got to line up with this bolt right here because when you put the case on it, that's going to line up the outside reverse bolt that we had to line up with this. So make sure that this guy is directly here. So now we can run this hands on. Put it in reverse. 
good. Now, basically ready to put the case right over it because this is tight. All right, but before we do that, we have to change the snap ring in the case, which is located right here on this side. You can see I'm moving the snap ring around. So that snap ring is this guy up here. It's this guy. So what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, let's see, we have a flathead over here. I got it right here. You know, just pry him down. He's already coming out. Oh, I lost it. Yo, first of all, who are you talking to like that? Hit the weight one. Okay. Got the new one. New one's up there. I was right on it. So this is going to kind of be the same way. Just kind of put the nose in first. And then it clicks right on that's it uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some brake clean and go over the whole outside of the case make sure that's nice and clean all the oil is off then we're gonna put some Honda bond down and lay the new tr the case right on it all right so we got the RTV laid out we got the new snap ring so now I'm just gonna lay this guy over Now, once you start getting it to a certain point, you're gonna have to open up that snap ring again. But right now, we gotta get it all over the dowel pins. Now, I see the snap ring is already hitting it. So we'll get these pliers, split this open. Let's put that open. Let's see, almost there. So the trans is there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run some bolts. Basically run it all down, get all the bolts in there, and then we're gonna flip the trans over. When we flip it, the gear set's gonna shift just a little bit and that snap ring is gonna close. Okay. Like that. Okay. Give it a good one, two, three. See the snap ring already closed up. All right, so we'll get the cam. Show them. All you gotta do is flip the trans over and something banging on something soft, and your snap ring will close right up. So the gear shifted just a little bit. Now all we're gonna do is put the shift selector back on, which is uh, right here. We're gonna put some RTV. Put the shift selector on. Put the uh, the Allen key that went right here for the shift selector, and the big plug. Now. There is some controversy I've seen of people not wanting to put RTV on on this guy here and I put it on this guy here. I do it just to make sure there's nothing going to leak. Some people don't like it, but it's never given me any issue. So I'm going to put RTV on the bolt just a little bit, a little dab. Tighten this guy up and tighten this guy up. Shift selector and the trans is done. So been a while uh not really a while but it took us a, a whole day just running around but we finally got the whole trans assembled we're gonna run through the gears and show you guys and uh it's all good to go so we're gonna go to first so it's first second third 
fourth, fifth, no, nope, that was reverse, fifth, sixth, and reverse, and neutral. So she goes in every gear. Looks like we did a good job. <laughs> Pretty much with the trans being completed, uh, we're just gonna throw it back in the car now. We're uh, probably gonna do that off camera. We'll definitely get it done a lot quicker off camera. Like I said, we've done, or I've, I've put out like two clutch videos on how to do clutches and how to remove the trans out of the RSX. So it's the same procedure. We're just gonna do it backwards. I hope you guys took some good information from this. Um, I'm trying to get Kenny in the camera. There's Kenny. <laughs> um, it's definitely not as hard as you think it is. It's, it's intimidating, but as long as you take it apart in steps and put it back together, it's not that bad at all. You know, this whole trans is rebuilt other than new gears. I would, after looking at this, I would like to upgrade to like a, a Gear X or a PPG gear set, you know, something for first to fourth, but that might be later on down the road. So again, if you like this video, definitely leave me a big thumbs up. Leave comments on what you liked about the video, uh, what you guys took from it, and uh, any all, all that feedback definitely helps us out and helps the channel out. So I'm just going to end this video. I want to put this trans and I want to take a shower. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, I got other parts I have to do. So like, actually, I'm going to speak to the alignment shop because after this, I'm making the appointment. Car's ready to go for the alignment. I'm going to speak to the alignment shop, see if I can bring you guys with me so they can show you some of the specs, the alignment specs we're going to do on the car. And hopefully that's the next one. If that's not the next video, it'll be some other stuff I gotta throw on the car to get it ready. Oh yeah, I still have to put that other piece that we picked up. They don't know about it yet. Okay. So maybe I'll, I'll find some time to, to throw that on. It's, it's a big piece, that's your hint. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay motivated and keep making those streets louder.